Hello guys, welcome to Teacher Mavid. Uh, I'm a teacher turned homeschool mom and on this channel I share everything about our homeschooling, our journey, things we're doing. And today I wanted to share with you guys the books that we've been using um, in our math unit, or our math block. And uh, these are just some living books. Uh, to bring to children to kind of have them excited about the topic or introducing different topics and stuff and I would say that this uh, this entire stack has got to be like a, an elementary age uh, introduction um, I, I think I would use it for elementary age kids um, and so I'm going to start with this one. So this one is called, uh, this is by Greg Tang. And Greg Tang writes a lot of really cool books about multiplication. I'm not multiplication. This one's about multiplication. But like he does a lot of number books, which makes it really cool, uh, you know, to for kids to uh, experience numbers in a different way. Like, for example, um, here, I'll show you this one. Like his, uh, this one is seven, uh, heaven. Seven doesn't take much time, even though it's a prime. Here is all you have to do. First, add, first times five, then add times two. So these are just tricks for kids to remember multiplication. And I thought this was a really cool way to just, because we're doing multiplication currently. And I thought this would be a great way to introduce multiplication, reinforce multiplication, or just have some fun with it, you know? Um, and if you have younger children that you're working with concurrently, uh, along with your older children, you can always do things like you can add by um, that certain number to show what multiplication really means. And so the idea behind these books is that you're introducing math in a, in a way that's creative, fun, literature based, but at the same time, you know, uh, I, I always feel like books speak to children in a different way. And so when you do a math book that just speaks to a child in a whole different level than just rote memorization or doing drills and such. And that's the reason why I wanted to share these books with everybody. Um, these are called Seek Squares. And I found them on different lists on Pinterest, whatever was available in my library. You can see here, um, this just talks about all the different creatures that are in... Um, that are in uh, that are in this seashore, or whatever, right? And uh, it's just a really cool way to introduce. Like here, you can you can combine nature study, you can combine a, a science unit, you can combine math with it, and it brings it makes a very interdisciplinary uh, way of teaching. So this one's called C squares. This one's called Each Orange Had Eight Slice Slices, and it's a counting book. And I think it'd be really fun to do this book with. Um, you know, with younger kids, so they can like, okay, like check this out, like you can count three red flowers, six pretty petals and such. And all these books kind of bring in number sense, like a sense of numbers, uh, some multiplication, because that is really the unit that I was trying to do was I'm trying to do a multiplication with my older one. And I'm trying to do like a addition, subtraction and a little bit of uh, number uh, idea of what numbers mean for my younger one, no, which is in so I would say the first grade and the second grade, uh, second, first and the third grade, sorry. So this is the other book. Thought it was a really nice book. Well done. And then this one is super fun. The Lion's Share. It's like a, a lore kind of uh, built into some numbers. And well, then the illustrations are really, really cool. And so kids have a lot of fun just, you know, observing this and then talking about how they split the food, you know, it talks about how they split the cake, which is very similar to some of their own experiences about how cut, cake is cut, you know, slices are made. You can do this with fractions. You can do this with division. You know, there's so much you can do with this. And I thought it was a really nice, really nice book. So I like, um, and it'd be so much fun to get the kids to actually do it, you know, if you actually made a cake with it and then had the kids uh, work through it. I think that would be so much fun. Uh, there's Minnie's Diner. It's a multiplying menu. Um, so there's that. Right, I'm just going to briefly show you guys the illustrations. And these were just, we just got these from our library. We did not purchase them. Um, but if some do speak to us really deeply, like these would be great books to purchase, I think. Um, then we've got Count on Pablo. Right here. Um, and there's activities at the end. So this one counts by tens. I think he counts by tens. And you just... You talk about a, a little bit of uh, multiculturalism in here. Uh, this one's called 12 Ways to Get to 11. 
really nice book about number theory, number sense, you know. And so there's that. This one is a really fun one. The kids really enjoyed. Uh, one, uh, one is a snail, 10 is a crab. We started illustrating, uh, we started uh, alluding to it later and talking about how, you know, a snail has one foot. So in the beginning, it just talks about the number sense that, you know, this is what it means to be one. This is what it means to be 10. Uh, and then it goes into counting by tens. And then uh, it goes on to uh, talking about like what it is. So, uh, sorry, 80 can be eight crabs or 10 spiders. So, you know, the kids are counting. Oh, you know, so you just understand, the kids understand that numbers, like you can combine different types of numbers to create that number. You don't have to be stuck in, you know, oh, you, you know, in two numbers and say, oh, there's different. So basically it's this understanding that math can be made fun. Math can happen in different ways. And if you have your own unique way of calculating something, that is awesome. And it just encourages children to be more um, creative with math. Like growing up, I had a very difficult time with math. And so I really appreciate it when um, books are out there that make math into this fun thing rather than a very methodic and ritual based thing. So this one's 512 Ants on Sullivan Street. This is super fun. It's a nice picnic that goes crazy. Okay. Um, then we have The Multiplying Menace, The Re Revenge of Rumpelstiltskin. So it's a really cute story. Uh, if you notice, th there is a lot of words in these books. So, uh, you know, I, I always feel like when you're catering to the younger readers, it's always a fun idea to, um, you know, rephrase this. The I mean, like I, what I usually do is I read it. And then if, if she, my younger one doesn't understand it, I will re reframe the story and rephrase it for her so that she does understand. Um, because th this can be a little confusing for the younger readers sometimes. This is another book by Greg Tang. Math potatoes. Again, I love his riddle, little riddles and uh, rhymes because they're just so much fun to do, and it, they really capture the child's attention and uh, their creativity. And so my kids love making their own rhymes with, that have like you know a math theme to it. Some some may be math themes or some may not be, but they're just fun to do. So this one is math potatoes. Caps for Sale is a very classic kindergarten-based book. Everybody loves it. And uh, we did too. But when we first read it, we never thought about the month, the number uh, sense behind it. But then we realized that he was it was by fours. And so it was a fun thing to do because uh, we skipped counted and we talked about counting by fours um, in the book. Because you see the peddler has four caps of each color. So that was fun. And then there's, lastly, we had Amanda Bean's Amazing Dream. So here's this. And you know, at the end of all these books, there's a story. So this one has to do with multiplication as well. Um, but at the end of the book, there are suggested activities for the children to do or to how to extend it. So I would even, if I had more time uh, to create a unit, like if your child has done like a... Uh, is knows the concept and understands it. Like, for example, if your kid's in like, let's say fourth grade, I wanna say, and they already know, understand multiplication, I would do the extended activities because those are so much fun to do. And uh, they just like, you know, they just extend the learning. You could create a whole unit out of just one of these books, in my opinion. Um, but they're just so much fun. But yeah, guys, that's the book. That's the books. That's the ones I wanted to share with you. This is something to make math fun, living, and exciting to do, um, you know, whenever you do them. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. And um, I will be back with another video. And let me let me know in the comments if there are some books that you'd use that um, that are not on this list because I would love to uh, include them in my uh, list and that way I could check them out next time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching.